So somebody just now asked a question on the ACRL Tech Connect blog about rewriting a commit message in Git after you've already committed. And I thought that would be a good topic for a little screencast. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm in this uh, Git repository, and I have uh, three commits here. But in the very last one that I did, you can see that I misspelled the word bug. So to fix that, there's a really handy uh, flag that you can pass to commit where you just put hyphen hyphen amend and that'll let you edit the last commit message. So then you do M and, and put in a new message. So I can just go ahead and fix that. And when I do, um, indeed, that commit message gets fixed. So that's great if you just want to edit the very last one. But what if I wanted to edit this uh, second commit in there? Sweet new feature added. Well, there's a very powerful command that does a whole lot more than just this. Um, and there are other ways to do this, probably. But what I, I do is I do git rebase and then I. Um, that stands for interactive, so it's actually we're going to see an editor open up here and we'll have some choices that we can make. And then you do head, tilde, and the number of commits back that you want to do changes to. So if it was two commits ago, I'd do two. If I wanted to change that very first commit, I could do three. Um, but let's, let's just do two for now. And what I'm given is a pretty complicated interface. So my, my editor opened up. It may be different for you, uh, depending on your environment. For me, I'm looking at Vim here. And you have different commands that you can do to each of these commits that are listed. Um, so you can do P and pick and reword and edit and squash and fix up. Those are all the things you can do. And clearly, uh, for this situation, I just need reword. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do reword there. And then if I kind of write and close in, in Vim, I'm given suddenly a, another editing interface opens up. And this is the one that allows me to change that message. So I can write in something new here. And oop, that should change the message. And you can see that this little git gives us some information here. And it said, hey, we're rebasing, and now if I do git log, indeed, awesome new feature added is the second message. So that was a couple ways that you can change commit messages from things that happened in the past.